Patrick Brady. Speaker, I congratulate the uh, member for Sutton Coalfield on uh, securing the question and you for granting it, Mr. Speaker, as the 100 days of commemoration of the 25th anniversary um, begin. I was part of the CPA delegation uh, last year, I think the first ever CPA delegation to Rwanda, and saw at first hand uh, the efforts that are being made to achieve justice and build peace. But the question of alleged perpetrators remaining overseas does leave a cloud hanging over those attempts. And it's not fair either on those who are accused to be left with these accusations uh, left untested or on the victims. So, um, first of all, to build on some of the questions that have been asked, um, accepting the role of the judiciary here, etc., what discussions have been had with other countries about why they felt able um, to uh, allow for extraditions and that wasn't felt here? But if the justice system here has concluded that a fair trial cannot be conducted in Rwanda, a way has to be found to achieve justice here. So is he confident that the Met Police have enough resources to complete their inquiries? What timescale is planned uh, once the inquiries are concluded for the next steps? Um, and can he give us assurances that that will move as quickly as possible, not so that justice is both done and seen to be done?